what's up youtube welcome back to my channel i'm steph growing in zone 6b if you are here for the first time welcome for the first time so i came out here because it is fertilizer day in my garden i fertilize with fish emulsion my leafy greens once a week um and you know typically a couple of days before or after a rain or when I know it's not gonna rain now I did that already but then you know one thing that I noticed when I was out here is apparently the pests are back or the animals are back in the garden um, chewing a couple of things down so I had to put my protection back up because there's some things that was uh, damaged now, if y'all know me, y'all know that I'm super resilient and the leafy greens, I believe, will bounce back. I had the same thing happen a few years ago and, you know, it takes a little longer, but with some fish fertilizer, they come right on back. So, um, you just go and put your netting up. Now that you know, you know, when you know better, you do better. And so, you know, I just, I, I, I thought I would, I thought it was important to record what the leafy greens look like now. And then I will show you guys later what they look like once they come back. So first of all, this is what I have done. I put these stakes around the garden and I put this netting up all the way around the perimeter of this bed even though i have these wire baskets protecting my seedlings uh whatever animal this was clearly did not care uh so that is just a stem as you can see that looked just like that to give you some context of what we got going on here you got that you got that so couple of things I did put this netting up um, right here and then I'm gonna leave the trash cans here but I'm gonna put a couple of uh, like pieces of wood or something heavy on top of them so that they um, will be more of a protection because whatever this is it, it knocked um, this trash can over now another thing whew, this air feel good y'all i just can we appreciate the air for a minute it's like 86 87 degrees in ohio right now and it's hot and i can appreciate this air but anyway here go another one as you can see snipped off but then look at this one untouched so you know and there's my uh kale and it's untouched so you know it is what it is and put some bricks on top of these uh wire baskets and uh yeah go ahead and cover that up i started to notice that there was some pest pressure um about a week ago when there was a tomato y'all can see it chewed out and i'm like you know okay I see they back but that's cool you know that's what happens in gardening you know things get chewed down and it happened to my um collard green bed too I was um disappointed but they'll grow back they'll grow back so anyway here are my broccoli seedlings that I started I'm gonna go ahead and separate these seedlings I put two seedlings in a hole they both came up only one came up there i'll leave that one i'm probably gonna move this one because it's too close to this one and then there's two right here and there's a couple of them right there now i've already separated these and um just you know get a good amount of the root right there i typically wait until i get at least one true leaf you got your two uh starter leaves here and your true leaf right there so you know what I typically do is get a handful of this soil this soil is very soft so I don't need 
um, any gardening tools for this and you know I just pull it on out so as you can see I have one two plants right here um, I'm gonna just get me like I'm gonna get underneath here and get a handful of this soil just like that break it up and separate it that's usually all I do I'm taking this there go my uh, here go my broccoli plant and you know that's it I'm just gonna sit it to the side just like that and then here go the second one still got a nice root ball I'm gonna just sit it to the side so that's then that's one two three four five six broccoli plants instead of you know snipping it off and you know they usually do okay a piece of plastic get that out of there they usually do okay like I said the soil in this bed is very soft this is a newer bed for me um, as of this year and so you know that's what I'm gonna do so now that we have you know our seedlings separated out here they are so let's talk about spacing I have my broccoli seedlings all separated just like that you know like I said I just made sure I had enough roots in there um, I don't do anything particular I just separate a hand apart so I have one seedling right here I have one seedling right here that's about a hand apart uh, I have a seedling here that's about a hand apart that's what I do now what I will say about broccoli depending on the variety um, I've seen broccoli grow like more of an upright position and I've seen broccoli grow um, like wider so I just I like to give it enough space because I believe what what I've experienced is the more space I give my vegetables to grow if I have the space to give then they tend to just do a little bit better now if you are wondering if you're new to my channel and you wondering why I have this green fencing down I used to use this green fencing to um, for pest protection like animal protection but what happened was it didn't work and I really do hate to waste money so anytime I buy something and it doesn't work for that intended purpose I try to uh, repurpose and reuse and and do something else with it um, so what I did was since I had an issue with animals digging in my um, since I had an issue with animals digging up my dirt I just repurposed this fencing to um, act as a soil barrier in a sense so that the animals would stop digging in my dirt so you know another thing I want to point out is like I said when I was doing my collard greens video the uh, white moth or white butterfly is still out there I'm gonna go ahead and water these in once I get them all planted I'm gonna water them in with some fish emulsion and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover them with baskets I'm gonna go ahead and put down some snail bait because these little seedlings they are very very fragile and you know it doesn't take but a little bit of pest pressure to damage or kill them now like I said in the beginning of the video I have seen uh, my collars and whatnot get chewed down and they grow back but it does slow down the progress so that's it y'all you know that's gonna do it y'all get out there and get growing it is nice and breezy in Ohio 
and I am enjoying being out in the garden for the last few months of gardening and um you know that's it y'all take care you know just remember it's always a good day to have a good day um and i'll talk to y'all on the next video bye for now